Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, not too long ago, I did a best eyeshadow palettes video and it was on the high end side. If you want to see it, I will link it for you now. Go ahead and check it out. But in that video, I mentioned that I was going to do a drugstore version because there are so many good drugstore palettes out there and I couldn't not do a video just dedicated to drugstore palettes. Now, with the high end one, it was quite easy for me to pick out like one palette per brand, if that makes sense. I feel like with the drugstore they just bring out so much more that there's like 10 palettes do you know what I mean with high-end it's a little bit more refined I'm not sure so with some of them I'm not able to pick like just one go-to palette um, and because it's affordable you probably could purchase one or two palettes from the brand so I'm gonna show you a couple of palettes from the brands that I love for drugstore eyeshadow palettes. I hope that makes sense. Like I did with the last video, I am gonna leave them all down below in the description box as well, so check that out. And if I do have a tutorial using one of these palettes, then I will link it also. I feel like I don't do enough drugstore palette like videos. I definitely do need to, so if there's any that catch your eye in this video, or if there's any in particular that you really want me to do a look with, then leave it down below in the comment section just so I know, because I actually, like, when I was like picking the products, I'm like, have I done tutorials with half of these products that I actually really, really love and I've used so many times, but I've probably just not used on camera, which is annoying. But if I have got a tutorial with any of them, like I said, it's gonna be down there. First up, I wanna talk about the Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. Yes, I think I have every single one of these. I think I do. I've collected them over time. They are just amazing. I believe these shadows are actually made with like mineral powder as well, and they still are so amazing. Like they're so, so, so highly pigmented. This is actually one of my favorite ones. So this is the Ultra Mats V1 and I also love Ultra Mats V2. I definitely have a tutorial with that. I can't actually find it right now. And the other one that I really love and I'm actually quite embarrassed to show you this because it's actually battered. It's the O Natural palette. Just look at the state of this. Look. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror's fallen off, like what have I done to this? I also love the original palette, I will show you that too. This is what the original looks like, I really like it because it's a nice mix of like your metallic shades, well it's loads of metallic shades and then one matte black eyeshadow and I have to say their matte black eyeshadow is amazing in like any of the palettes where there's a matte black, it's so so good. But I have to say that the sleek eyeshadow palettes are some of the best affordable eyeshadow palettes. The matte are so intense and they are very very highly pigmented and even the bold colors now I have found with some brands even high-end brands where I've used like a bright color and it's gone on really powdery or chalky and it just didn't look cute and I've actually had to bring out one of my sleek palettes to rescue the makeup look like come on and then the metallic shades they're also super highly pigmented you can actually dampen your brush and get them even more metallic and they just have a really beautiful high shine and what I love is that you just get a really good selection in every single palette that they have. Now, I can't off the top of my head think how many palettes Sleek have. They've got loads, but there is definitely something for everyone. The Sleek eyeshadow palettes genuinely feel like high-end shadows. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If someone covered up the packaging, you wouldn't even know. I also love how kind of sleek, heck, get it? How sleek they are and compact, and you can just take them around with you, and you just stack them all up, and you've literally got everything with you. And all of the eyeshadow palettes come with a really decent-sized mirror. But in terms of pigmentation and quality of shadows, for the price that you are paying, it really, really is amazing. The next one I want to mention is a fairly new makeup line. I've been blown away by their shadows and I have to mention them. And it's Revolution Pro. Not Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro. This is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trends Mischief Matte. So a whole bunch of matte eyeshadows which you definitely always need. Honestly, everyone needs this. Like, everyone needs this. You know when you want to do like a bold, colourful makeup look and you can't find the right like matte eyeshadow to go with like a beautiful, colorful, like metallic lid shade and you wanna get the right crease shade and it's gotta be matte. You're gonna find it right here. You're gonna find it right here. Like literally, you can't go wrong with this. The selection is amazing. The pigmentation of these shadows literally blew me away. Like when I applied it onto my eyes, I was like, the hell? Like, are you serious? And then they have some other eyeshadow palettes from Revolution Pro, the Supreme eyeshadow palettes. Supreme in their range basically means even more intensified eyeshadow 
eyeshadows so they're super creamy super buttery super easy to apply blend but the colors are intense again you get a really good selection there's quite a few different palettes for you to choose from the variety is amazing and for what you're paying it is so good again it's like a really really high-end feel but major low-end price like major major low-end the next one I'm gonna mention I couldn't not mention like it wouldn't be a drugstore favorite eyeshadow palettes video without mentioning NYX like you can't not mention NYX NYX have actually got a really wide range of eyeshadow palettes they've got loads of these like ultimate eyeshadow palettes so it's a block of 16 eyeshadows in one palette which is great so nice amount of variety they have colorful ones more like rose goldy ones but this has probably got to be my favorite again the feel of these eyeshadows are really nice and soft and they blend super well I think that's like the most important thing for me is that when I put an eyeshadow on I want to know if I can work with it easily I don't want to like be there blending for ages or like having to like fix a problem I just want to put it on and for it to be good and this definitely does that it's not too powdery whatsoever like you know when you dip your brush in and there's like powder everywhere it's not like that with this at all I just love this another NYX palette that I really like is the NYX contour intuitive now they've got a few different shades of these ones as well but this one's probably my favorite this is the warm zone one obviously I love anything warm toned this is great because obviously everything in this palette is gonna suit a warm skin tone you know and then you also get a beautiful highlight in there you can use it as a shadow as well but as a highlighter it is gorgeous and then a really really lovely blush which is so complimentary to a warm skin tone it's just a really good well thought out palette NYX eyeshadows or pigmentations for their contour shades their highlighters and eyeshadows are amazing but definitely for a warm skin or tan girl I would definitely check out like one of these two or both why not so the next palette I want to mention is quite an old one that I have but it's definitely one that I go to and grab especially when I'm doing like colorful looks and this is the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte 28 color eyeshadow palette and I love that they're all matte because you can do so much with matte eyeshadows you can do matte all over the eye you always need matte shadows for the crease I just think the selection of these shadows is amazing I would say that these shadows probably need building up slightly more than any of the others that I've mentioned they're a little less pigmented than any of the others but that's not to say that they're not good they work beautifully they go on well I feel like the color payoff is amazing when you build them up I love that you get your neutrals your more peachy tones pinks blues greens black everything in one place I mean you really can't go wrong with this and finally the holy grail palette the palette of all palettes for a warm skin tone can you guess can you guess what it is it is the morphe 35-0 palette oh! Obviously, couldn't do a video for warm skin without mentioning this palette like how can you not have this if you are someone that loves your warm eyes warm smoky eyes and you just want a whole selection of warm shadows and browns and all of that stuff you need this you need this it is amazing I mean there's not really much to say other than the fact that the Morphe eyeshadows are literally so intense again they have such a high-end kind of feel to them you wouldn't even know that you're like using an affordable palette you get such an amazing selection this is probably one of the pricier ones out of all of them but obviously you're getting so many shadows in one palette you get your metallics in here you've got a huge selection of mattes you've got these really beautiful bright kind of orangey tones which can really like uplift a like warm smoky eye and honestly it can transform a makeup look I definitely would recommend getting this it is the bomb so those are my favorite drugstore affordable eyeshadow palettes for a warm tan olive Indian that kind of skin because they are more on the affordable side you can definitely you know maybe over time collect a few of them and you don't just have to like have one palette you can have a few of these and they are all so amazing I literally wouldn't tell you about something if I didn't love it and I genuinely love all of the palettes that I have spoken about today so if there are any that you really want me to do a tutorial with let me know if there's a palette that you feel like I've missed and I need to know about it let me know I definitely do want to do more drugstore looks or like in include more drugstore palettes 
in my tutorial so it would be good to know what your favorites are from this whether it's one that I've included in this video or a completely different one that I don't know about so yeah let me know in the comment section down below if you like these types of videos make sure to give it a big thumbs up obviously don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more of these types of videos and you can keep up with me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter everything will be linked down below in the description box for you but for now guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye